What's going on, family? Uh, I had uh, some inspiration that I'd like to share with you guys. So, and this is for anybody in a love, romantic relationship, or a relationship uh, with a business partner, or a best friend, or a family member, or anybody in a relationship. And this is, I'd like to remind us all that conflict is going to happen. It's a part of life. You don't have to act like or think that because there is conflict, especially if you spend a lot of time together, that the relationship isn't working, that the business partnership isn't working, that the family dynamics aren't working. That's just a part of life. Everybody has opinions and those opinions get expressed and sometimes they get expressed in healthy ways and sometimes they don't. And even if they get expressed in healthy ways, sometimes people don't receive them that way. So I'm here to remind you all, once again, that if you are going through something with somebody in any type of relationship, that it's okay to be in conflict. We don't get to shut down part of life and be, uh, you know, roses in the park hippies all the time. Not that there's anything wrong with hippies because I would consider myself one, but we don't get to pretend like um, life is always supposed to be, you know, skipping through the park. Like stuff happens. With friends, with family, with business partners, stuff happens. We have different opinions and things uh, don't always align. And that's a part of life and it actually usually makes the relationship better if you're willing to take a look at yourself and your stuff. And they are too. And even if they aren't, you look. Even if they're not choosing to see it from a place of responsibility, you do it anyway. That's the job of a conscious being. It's to say, where am I at in this? I get that I'm um, placing a lot of blame on this person about this thing because this happened and those are the facts. But the truth is, is that everybody's doing the best that they can from where they can. And if you can honor that and understand that you too have an opinion, you too have standards that you may not have shared, and even if you shared them, you may have broken them, you too have wounds that you're operating from. If you can understand that and get under it, and see how you created it, how you participated, how you caused, how you allowed. Then you take your power back and then you stop having conversations from blame. You see, you don't have to blame. You don't have to outwardly say, I blame you to have the context of blame, to be saying things and under it all, the person and yourself get that you're basically blaming them not taking skating responsibility. So point the finger back this way. Understand that conflict happens and that we can all get on the other side of it when we choose to act and move from responsibility. And that we'll never not have conflict. It's a part of life. It's a part of life. Not something we get to get rid of. Blessings and blessings, family. I just had to share that with you. All right, peace.